All right, so we are going to solve absolute value inequalities. Now, last week, we just set them up. We didn't solve them. This week, we're going to set them up, solve them, and then graph them. Now, the last two weeks before, you were solving and graphing. So this is just adding that extra step, and we're kind of putting it all together. Now, how do we know we can't just solve this as it is? We know that because it's got these absolute value lines here. If it has the absolute value lines, you have to break it up into the and or the or problems. Now remember, and problems will be shaded together, or problems will be shaded apart. So if you've got less than, it looks like this symbol, so this symbol, then it's going to be an and problem. If it's a greater than, kind of like this symbol, then it's going to be an or problem, and you have the word or in between it. So remember, when we have the and problem, we're just going to take this 54 and we're going to put a negative 54 in the front. And you take away the absolute values. So you have negative 54 less than or equal to a negative 9v less than or equal to a positive 54. So remember, the negative 9v less than or equal to 54 just stays as it is. We just put the negative 54 in the front to create that and problem. Okay, you have to be able to write the problem correctly first in order to be able to then solve it and graph it. So we want to make sure that we're writing it correctly. So less than is and. Remember, we think of the word land. Land, L, less than. Okay. Now, to solve this, well, we need the V all by itself in the middle. So you're going to divide everything by negative 9. Now, be super careful. Remember, when you're dividing by a negative number, that means you have to flip the inequality. So you gotta do all the sign stuff, but then you also have to flip the inequality. So you have negative 54 divided by negative nine. So that's gonna come out to be a positive six. So you have a positive six, you have to flip this inequality to be greater than or equal to, then you've got your V. You're gonna have to flip this inequality as well, and you have a positive 54 divided by a negative nine, which is going to give you a negative 6. Now, V is still in between the negative 6 and the 6. See how the V is bigger than the negative 6 because it's eating the V, but it's smaller than the positive 6. So it's going to be in between. So you're still getting, even though you flipped the inequality, you're still getting the negative 6, and you're still getting the positive 6, and you're still shading everything that's in between. So that's the answer to number one. Now, if we're looking at number two, number two is greater than. So that means that it's an or problem. Now, when you have an or problem, you write it out as you see it, and then you say or the x over six could be less than or equal to a negative five. So to write the or problem, I had to flip the inequality and I had to change the sign of what it was equal to. All right, so the first one I wrote just as I normally did. The second one, I had to flip the inequality and change the sign. Okay, so now I've set up the or problem. Now that it's set up, I just go ahead and solve it. Well, since this is in the denominator, you're going to multiply both sides by 6. You get x is greater than or equal to 5 times 6 is 30. Or... You're going to do the same thing over here. You multiply both sides by 6. X is less than or equal to a negative 5 times 6 is a negative 30. So, X is greater than a positive 30. So, we have our closed circle and our shading to the greater than sign. And X is less than or equal to negative 30. Our closed circle, and we're going to the less than side. Now, see how this one is an or, and it's shaded in two different directions. It can go this way, or it could go that way. Here, the and problems, they're going to be all overlapping. It could go this way, and it could go this way. So this is an and problem, or two different directions. All right, let's take a look at number three. So number three, I want you to hit pause, and I want you to think about whether it's an and or an or problem, and write the equation, just like we did last week. Okay, let's take a look. It's less than. Less than is a land problem. So it's going to look like number one, and. 
So you've got your x plus 5 and you're less than 9, but you've got to put in the front the negative 9 less than. So negative 9 less than x plus 5 is less than 9. Now that it's set up, we know how to solve these problems. Remember, when you subtract the 5, you can't just subtract it from the one side. You've got to subtract it from all sides. Okay? So, negative 9 minus 5 is a negative 14. And 9 minus 5 is 4. So, x is going to be, be between negative 14 and positive 4. Now, taking a look here, we don't have any equal signs. That means that we've got open circles. So, I have an open circle at 14. I have an open circle at 4. And I'm going to shade in between because this is an and problem and x is in between. Okay? So if you have less thans, you're looking for things that are shaded together. If you have greater thans, you're looking for things that are shaded apart. All right, let's look at number four. <clears throat> number four, try it yourself. Hit pause, give it a try. All right, so you have a less than again. Less than means and, land. So we've got the negative 60, the less than or equal to, the 3 minus 9x, the less than or equal to, and the positive 60. Okay? Notice that the stuff inside the absolute value didn't change at all. It stayed the same. The 60 stayed the same. All we did was we put a negative 60 in the front. Now, to solve this problem, the first thing you have to do is subtract this 3. Got to do subtractions before you can do the multiplication stuff. So negative 60 minus 3 is negative 63. And 60 minus 3 is 57. Now we're going to divide by a negative 9. Uh-oh, just kind of like what we did up there. When we divided by a negative number, we're flipping our inequality. So, negative 63 divided by a negative 9 is going to give us a positive 7. Flip that inequality. Flip this inequality. 57 divided by a negative 9. Oof, that gave us negative 6.333. So that's just basically a negative 57 over 9, which maybe you could reduce, or you could call that negative 6.333. Now, we're going to want to graph this, so we're going to want to know that decimal, okay? Because negative 6.333 is right here. we got our dot right here. I mean, you're just estimating. It's a little past negative 6. And then you got a positive 7 over here. Now, this was an and problem, so it's going to be shaded together. Okay. So don't be upset if you get a, a fraction for an answer or a decimal for an answer. It's okay. I'll accept either one. I'll accept the fraction or the decimal. You can write either one of them. However, if you have to graph, you're going to want the decimal because you're going to want to know where you're going to put it on the graph. Negative 57 over 9, we don't know where that goes. But negative 6.3, we know where that goes. All right, let's look at number five. Now, in number five, we've got to be careful, okay? Because we've got this 10 hanging out outside of the absolute value. Now, remember, you can't start writing the equation until you move that 10 because it's outside of the absolute value sign. So you've got to connect this outside of the number um, absolute value sign with this number outside of the absolute value sign. So we have to subtract this 10 over. So absolute value of x minus 8 is greater than a 22 minus 10 is a 12. Okay? So now, now we can look at this equation and we can say it's greater than. So if it's a greater than sign, it's going to be an or problem. Now remember, if it's an or problem, we write x minus 8 is greater than 12 or x minus 8 is less than 12. So you flip the negative, flip the inequality, and make that negative. Okay, don't forget the negative like I almost did. So you write it out as it is, 
or you write it out with the inequality flipped and change the sign. Now you solve these two different pieces. So we're going to add the 8. x is greater than 12 plus 8 is 20. Okay. Or you've got add the 8. And you've got x is less than negative 4. Okay. So open circles. So you have an open circle at negative 4, an open circle at 20, and this is an or problem, which means they're going to be shaded in opposite directions. X is greater than 20, so that's going this way. X is less than negative 4, so that's going this way. Okay. Alright, so number 5 and 6 look very similar. For number 6, you've got this 8 out here that really shouldn't be there because it's not inside the absolute value. So you've got to subtract that 8 from the 17. So go ahead and subtract that 8 from the 17 and then go ahead and see if you can do this problem. So hit pause, go ahead and try it, and then hit play and see if you got it right. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is you have to subtract your 8. And what was 17 minus 9? Oops, sorry, 17 minus 8 is 9. <laughs> so you should have that the absolute value of 4x minus 7 is greater than or equal to 9. Now you're all set to write the equation. Now you can take away the absolute values and you can make that absolute value difference. So this is an or problem. See this? Greater than. Greater than is an or problem because less than is land, greater than is or. So 4x minus 7 is greater than or equal to 9, or 4x minus 7, flip your inequality and change the sign. So it'll be 4x minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 9. Alright, so now we needed to solve. So we added 7. Nine plus seven is sixteen. Divide by four. X is greater than or equal to four. Four. Let's go this way. Add your seven. Four x is less than uh, or equal to. So negative nine plus seven is a negative two. Divide both sides by positive four. You get x is greater than a negative, or sorry, x is less than or equal to a negative one half. Negative one half or a negative 0.5. So if I put negative 2 over 4 in my calculator, it gives me a negative 0.5. Now remember, I don't care, fraction or decimal, it doesn't matter. Now, you know where negative a half is, so that's easier than, um, than say, negative 57 over 9. But, if you want to make it a decimal, that's okay. So negative a half is right here, and we're closed circles this time because we have our equal sign. And we have a 4 closed. Now, x is greater than 4, and plus this is an or problem, which means we're going to go in opposite directions. x is less than or equal to that negative 1 half. So you're going in opposite directions. Now you're ready for the Desmos lesson. Now on the Desmos lesson, my hint, start with the equation. You're going to have to do some matching. When you're dragging and dropping the boxes, you want to put the boxes on top of each other until they fuse together. Now you can always take them back apart. So if you fuse two things together that don't actually go later on, you find out, you can separate them. But start with the equations and fuse things together. You know, Organize your equations and choose into three or four separate piles. Then pull the graphs in, and then pull in all of the other information. I think that'll help a whole lot. Okay? All right. Have a great day.